I feel like this makes us look like farm people, and I don't think we're farm people. No, but we like hamburgers. I love hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> Hold yes, sorry. That please. is so not in line. What did you just ask I me? I want to put a nail on the wall. Do it. Go. You got it. I don't know anything about nails. Just find a spot where you want to put the nail and just and just tap but it like in. Which kind? I don't know why you put your nail mark right above the nail and just hit I'm like... using it for reference. Hope I don't hammer my finger. Okay, you're oh. done. Here is your nail. I would love to nail you <laughs> after this. <laughs> We've been keeping a secret from you. We've heard your feedback. You missed the old us. The two kids with a camera talking about life. Minus all the jump cuts and higher production. What the crap did you just spray on? <laughs> Wait, did you dye my hair? It's not that we've been disingenuous with y'all. It's just we want to be more than a perfectly curated 60 seconds popping up now and again on your For You page. Schedules? We don't know them. Five-year plan? Nope. Don't have that. Our life is happy, hectic, and beautifully unplanned. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we're so excited to present the Unplanned Podcast. Coming February 1st. Family OOTD Disneyland edition. Okay, so I just got plain white <laughs> warm top. Got my Mickey and Minnie jeans on and my comfy sneakers and my magic band. I've got my Kizzix, my American Eagle shorts, my Billabong t-shirt, my Mickey ears. Griffin has on his Mickey socks. His Mickey shoes did not fit. And he also has on this really cute brown hoodie with this Mickey jacket. Mickey Mouse! Yay! Yay! Mickey. I keep seeing all these soda shops on TikTok and I really want to try them out. What the heck is this heck stuff? Is this? I feel like you like the Blue Shirley Temple. 7 Up Cotton Candy. We have to let them decide for us. I really hope they use the Pebble Ice because Pebble Ice is the best. So we just got like the most confusing order. <laughs> yeah. They gave us a sweet one and then a less sweet one. But when they were describing them, they both sounded extremely oh, sweet. Oh, so sweet. I feel like I should have gotten it in my Stanley. I Wait, feel like that's that? what the girlies do. Let's try the blue one first. You have to be quiet because Griffin is asleep in the back. So this first one's called Eternal Companion and it's blue syrup and peach syrup and sprite it's really good really oh my lord Gosh. it mostly tastes like sprite it's but like it's a blue like, raspberry sprite this one's gonna be crazy this one's called scotty sauce is that insane oh my gosh let me have that again the girls working were both very very oh no griffin's waking up crap i need to start driving here hold this let me grab his binky I'm going to miss out on living in the present. This morning, I got the news that one of my childhood friends got engaged. Immediately, I got sad. I was kind of jealous. <laughs> I got engaged almost five years ago. I so badly want to go back and relive that moment all over again. Then I got to thinking, five years from now, I'm going to look back and be so sad that this stage of life is over. Five years from now, he will be about to enter kindergarten and my life will look completely different. Now, I don't think there's anything wrong with looking back on life and reminiscing. It's okay to be sad that a season of your life is over. But what I realized today is if I always live my life reminiscing on the past or looking forward to the future, what would you do? So I was hanging out with some friends and I come home and see there's something on my doorstep. I go up and see that it's a pizza and some chicken wings. I did not order pizza or chicken wings. On the receipt, it says that it's for Marissa with a U. I do not know any Marissas that live in my city. It also says that it's paid for. And when I checked my cameras, I saw that it had arrived about an hour ago. I thought about it for a little. I thought about how it smelled so good. I thought about how I did have room for second dinner. And I thought about how I do love a free meal. But then I thought about how this pizza and wings could have been planted. Maybe it's poison. And what about Marissa and how she may have a hunger that only a meat lover's pizza with no bacon and some dry rubbed chicken wings can satisfy. So yeah, I ate it. And people were giving me grief for it, including Matt. But hey, I know there's people out here that would do the exact same thing. What'd you just tell me? Half the I chickens were dead? Eggs. Trader Joe's. There's what? no eggs. At Whole Foods, they were going for $12. What the f $12? Yeah, apparently there was a bird flu. We used to pay like 70 cents for eggs. That literally does not make any sense. It makes sense because supply and demand. Abby, Everybody I don't need a eggs, <laughs> there's none eggs. I don't need a lesson in macroeconomics. I was a finance major yeah. before I dropped out. Don't listen to me. When a lot of people want something, but there's not a lot of it, the price goes up. For a half carton, it was five dollars. Did you buy a half carton? I couldn't even get it. It sold out by 11 a.m. today. That's frustrating. We need to go in the morning to get eggs. Well, more than anything, I'm sad for the chickens. You're gonna have to maybe switch to tofu. <laughs> Good morning. Abby's at the gym, and I'm gonna try to make myself a latte. Hey, no food. You just peed a lot. We actually have an old latte maker. I'm pretty sure that if you get a new Nespresso, the pods are like a dollar a pop. But the pods that we buy are like a great value version. But yeah, it's called Best Bestpresso. We found this on Amazon. It's the cheapest one you could find. Sniff test. Mm. 
I think it's clean. Right to the dot. Mm -mm. I actually never was a coffee person. Abby kind of turned me into one though. I'm pretty sure the reason that I first had coffee with her was just to impress her. Oddly enough, she finds coffee breath attractive. When I was a kid, my parents drank plain black coffee, which is absolutely disgusting. But now that I have lattes, oh, we're talking business, baby. Cheers. Why do I still, I actually, I don't like it. Peanut butter all over it, Nutella all over it. And no, then... no, no. Peanut butter and jelly on it, but a little tiny bit of Nutella. Do you just want like little droppings of Nutella? No, or do you not want that big, dollop? just a tiny bit. That's a lot. There's just so much in those holes. Okay, here, I'll get the, I'll get it out of the holes. You me to do this, bro? I got it. I can do it for you. I want to take care it's of you. It's kind of personal. See, my whole plan was to for you to be asleep, and you'd be like, wow, thank you for breakfast in bed, honey. I just felt like honey. a lazy bum. Just a little tiny bit of Nutella. Why do you keep saying tiny? Are you afraid that the Nutella's not good for you? Why is palm? I thought that Nutella was good for you. I don't know. It's like hazelnut spread. Oh, okay. That's a ton. Okay, don't okay. put any more on. I'm trying to drizzle it like this, like drizzle. That's, that's a lot. We're good. We're good. Yeah. Okay. 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 There you go. Is that good? Yes. Okay. It's amazing. Good morning. Abby is currently asleep, so we're making breakfast. Hey, you kind of ruined my plan. I was gonna like surprise, oh, your nippies are out. <laughs> I was gonna surprise you with breakfast in bed. Full disclosure for breakfast recently, we've been doing breakfast burritos. They're so easy and they're cheap and they're healthy and they're tasty, but we need to start eating from home again. I really need to learn how to crack an egg with one hand. That My egg cracking game is horrible. Last year when we lived in Hawaii, I feel like we were both in the best shape of our lives. I went to the gym probably four times a week and Abby went to the gym probably five times a week. And since becoming a dad, I probably could count on one hand how many times I've worked out. Okay, we need to stir this up. Mm -hmm. I feel like part of the reason my health is so much better a year ago is because I didn't have to make plans. But with the baby, you have to make plans. There's no not planning. And unfortunately, the woman I married also isn't good at planning. Sorry, I'm not trying to roast you, baby. <laughs> Whoa, 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 okay. Oh gosh, oh, that smells. You're so cute. Oh, hi. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> wow, these are actually a little toasty. Crap, I feel like I overtook these a little bit. I like a nice golden brown. I'm not really a fan of the burnt. These eggs look delicious. Wait, do you want apples, blackberries, or strawberries? Strawberries. I just got hit with a wave of hunger. Pretend to be surprised. Okay, breakfast is served. Mm, so good. Look what I just found in here. This. My mom saw that. No. My mom saw that. No. Yes, I know no. for a fact she did. I know for a fact she did, dude. I know for a fact. <laughs> it's all of our cards from high school. It's all of our sexy love notes. I feel like she read every single one of them. Oh my gosh, she did. She definitely did. It's all right there. This is an honest tour of our house after we get home from a long trip. Cool with this? Being fully transparent? Okay. Let's say fully transparent. Okay. Bar. We got our Christmas tree, which is fully up. Taking that down today, or are we just going to keep that up? Not today. I have Griffin's play area. Sorry that I haven't taken a shower today. It's bad. And you can just keep, just keep your distance. Got tripods, freaking ring light, because we are influencers. <laughs> and some pretzels. Were you eating pretzels today? No, those are in the bathroom. We, left. we had pretzels in our bathroom? <laughs> Why did we have pretzels in our bathroom? I got hungry when I was packing. Oh, you smell so bad. I'm, I'm so sorry. This is the scary part because it's like already spilling out into the hallway. But look at the foyer. Oh my gosh. I never unpacked my suitcase from Thanksgiving. So that's that suitcase. And then this suitcase is my Christmas suitcase. I had the genius idea of doing laundry before we packed our suitcase <laughs> to go back home. Ugh. Turned out to be a terrible idea because they didn't have time to dry. So all these clothes need to be rewashed because they were slightly damp. The room is not great. Like, why is there an espresso cup on our bedroom floor? I don't know. Where is that even from? I bought that at a Christmas market. I'm pretty bad about making the bed in the morning. I already, like, touched up the closet just a little bit, but it definitely needs a little bit of reorganization there. Gosh. But we're getting our whole closet renovated this month, so I'm not even going to worry about making it perfect because it's totally. going to be all fabulous. Here is Griffin's room, and he finally just started sleeping in it. Just have stuff out everywhere because we left our house in a rush. But I feel like out of all the rooms, it's probably one of the cleanest ones in the house. If we just teamwork it up, I think we can knock this out pretty quickly. I feel like I need a day of rest after travel, but I'm not going to be able to rest until everything's cleaned up and put away. And so my goal is to get that done before tonight and make a good dinner. Yeah. And then we watch a show together. Yes. We go I to like bed that. early because I'm that. so tired.
On New Year's Eve, our Uber driver dropped us off 45 minutes away from our hotel in Times Square, which is absolutely terrifying because hours later, a man attacked three New York City police officers with a machete. Abby has a pretty big fear of crowds, so it really scared her when someone reached out and grabbed her arm while we were walking to our hotel, but luckily, it was just somebody that wanted to say hi that watches our videos. After passing by a bunch of people selling marijuana on the street, we made it to our hotel safe and sound, put on some fancy clothes, and trudged through the pouring rain into Times Square. <laughs> it felt like we were in a movie. We only had 17 hours in New York and we had two goals. One, watch the famous ball drop in Times Square and two, share our first New Year's kiss. Okay, technically we've had one already, but it was in Abby's grandma's living room and it just wasn't good. We made our way to the stage and that's where we saw freaking Ryan Seacrest and this guy. To be completely honest, I had no idea who he was, but I later found out he was a famous rapper in the Korean pop group BTS. He was insanely talented. I still could not believe I was actually there and that's when we got the exciting news that our TikTok was going to play live in Times Square in front of everybody. It felt like it was too good to be true. Minus all the rain, but I just decided to embrace it and take my hood off. Our TikTok played, and to be honest, it was slightly anticlimactic because I thought it was going to be on like a massive screen, but it was just on this tiny one, but it was still really cool. Before we knew it, it was time for the ball to drop. Somehow we finessed our way into an area that was like literally directly in front of the ball. Smoke started pouring out from around the ball. Within seconds, the new year was upon us. The clock struck midnight, and we shared an incredible New Year's kiss. Good morning. We just got home after being gone for two weeks. So I'm gonna see if there's anything to eat in our fridge. Oh gosh, we have milk in here too. What's the date on this? Best by December 27th. <laughs> That's crazy. That looks absolutely disgusting. No, thank you. No, thank you. Gross. No, thank you. There's really nothing to eat. I think I'm just gonna have to do oatmeal. And you're probably wondering, Matt, why are you up right now? It's pitch black outside. We just went through a time change coming back from the Midwest. And even though it's about to be seven o'clock here, Griffin thinks it's eight o'clock. Oh, I just heard the <laughs> most gurgly toot. I think you're pooping, aren't you? Yeah, you're pooping. I have learned the hard way that if you do not stay on top of diaper changes, this kid will poop all over everything. I'm gonna turn on our fireplace to set the vibe. There we go. Let's get some lights going. Oh, we also need the artwork on our TV. Yay. Here's our diaper change station. We kind of just do this on the couch. Oh, just a couple of days ago, we started getting this kid on some solid foods. We've been feeding him bananas, some yogurts. I even gave him a little taste of my tomato sauce, my pizza the other day, and he loved it. Just trying to expand his palate. But obviously solids means that he's gonna have stinkier poop. So I think that's what we're starting to smell. Hey, look, an apple. Typically in the morning, okay, what, what am I saying? Typically in the mornings, Abby and I just switch off who gets up with Griffin. Recently, it has been me more often than not, but I've gotten a free pass when Abby's parents have woken up and they then they watch Griffin, then I go back to bed with Abby. There you go. This one's really fun. The really cute thing though is he's happiest in the morning. There you go again. Here you go, buddy. His biggest feeding of the day is in the morning. That's just when Abby has her highest milk supply. And um Hello, governor. I am facing a dilemma. So the Italian sweet cream we have in our fridge does have a date of February 22nd. But that can be very deceiving because when those bottles are open, they only last two weeks and we opened it three weeks ago. Screw it, I'm just gonna try it. Okay, the bubbles are throwing me off. Usually Abby's the guinea pig for stuff like this. Like she will legit eat a hot dog if it falls on the floor of a ballpark. Like she just, she just sends it, seriously. This is scary. I didn't see any clumps. <laughs> so that should be a good sign. Um. It's good. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, this whole talking while working thing is really hard for me because I have undiagnosed ADHD. It's really putting me to the test trying to do things while I speak. If I'm talking to someone and having a conversation, usually I have to stop what I'm doing and fully focus on the conversation. Man, that makes me sound like an idiot. Usually I, oh wow, this, this is very crunchy. Usually I wait to the last minute to get things done and then finally when I get around to doing them, it's like, nine o'clock at night and that's why oftentimes I will work till like 3 a.m. And I can't do that though because Abby loves it when I um, go to bed with her at night. Yeah, I really need to get tested for ADHD. That's what my goal is for 2023. I need to get medicated. Dude, that looks freaking fire. Mm, yep, Griffin, that's even better than your milk, my dude. One day you'll have to try buy this. Actually, you can probably... Here, we're gonna feed you an apple. Here you go. You can just lick it. You can lick it. Isn't that so yummy? Here, I'll get you a bigger slice. Here you go, sir. Isn't that so good? Yeah, it is so tasty. Let's mix this sucker up. Oh, and give it a taste. Sorry, buddy. And give it a taste test. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that pinky is so cool looking, isn't it? Holy crap, that's literally a tear dropping down your face right now. I'm just staring at it fall down your it's cheek. pouring out of my eyes. Dude, and you're not even sad? Oh my gosh, that's a big tear. Honey, is your eye okay? What's wrong with it? Honey, it's literally shutting closed. <laughs> There's literally two tears falling out of that eyeball right now. Can you even see me? If you close your right eye, can you even see out of your left? Oh, 
no, not the best. <laughs> you promise you're not sad? Well, I mean, I'm not happy, but... You look really sad. I am sick. Would a back rub help? I'm just trying to think of what I can a do. A back rub always helps. I can do that. He's just doing this for the TikTok. Okay. He doesn't actually care about me. I rub your back all the time. <laughs> Don't even play games right now. I'm going to build this crib myself. Are you sure you shouldn't have your brother do it? No, I can do it. I don't need my brother to build the crib. Now, am I a handy person? No. Do I know what I'm doing? Definitely not. But I cannot stand by and let my brother put together my own son's crib. I have literally no idea what these boards are for. I'm thinking that maybe I combine the big crib pieces with the little bassinet pieces to make the full crib. Hey, we got the first one off. Oh, yeah. I just realized this is actually way easier than I thought. All I have to do is take these pieces and put them on the side and then screw them back on together. Together. You look magnificent. Yeah, I was a theater kid. Here is his old ass net, and here is the crib size. That's a very big difference. He's gotten so big, you guys. Here is one of his newborn diapers that I saved. Why is Big a Dad making me so emotional? He's there. <gasps> now all I have to do is put the mattress in. Wait, what? Isn't it so big? I did it all by myself. You did a great job. We need a new mattress. I think we might need a bigger size. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> this is so he like wore it twice. It's so little. Oh, it's so hard because it's like, of course you want them to grow, but yeah. no one prepares you for how hard this is. Like I need these hangers so he yeah. can, I can hang up in bigger clothes, but yeah. I've been keeping these like not touching them because I'm in denial yeah. that he's getting so big. And like the memories with these little outfits. Yeah. I guess it's like not about the clothes, it's just about all those sweet memories. Remember when we brought this one to the hospital thinking he'd fit in this? Oh, and he was, he was way, way too, too small. Little? And now there's no chance not we can get shot. him in this. And it has the matching bonnet. Oh, That's I my love favorite that kid one. so much. Guess we just have to have another one. Yeah, I guess we do have to have another one. <laughs> Are you so stoked? I thought I was saying. I feel like this has been your lifelong dream to meet the Grinch. I never thought it would be possible. I never thought I'd see this day. I am actually nervous. My heart is oh, yeah. actually being done. Five o'clock, jump size. Five thirty, dinner with me. Can I catch the again? Hello! How are you? <laughs> no, we're not yet. <laughs> No, I'm not gonna say that. That's not nice. That's not what you say when you first meet somebody. I would not. I would not do that. No way. Yeah. Oh look. It's oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just froze up. Today is my birthday. Woohoo! I'm 24. Matt came home with my coffee order, flowers, and a card. He planned a special day for me that started out with my favorite meal of the day, brunch. You always get two things, a sweet and a savory, and split them right down the middle. And let's just say there's never any food left over when we're through. Honestly, breastfeeding has unlocked a hunger I have never experienced before. Next, we did a special project that involved Christmas toy donations. Stay tuned to our YouTube channel for more on that. And then my aunt from Chicago got to meet the baby for the first time just as we were heading out the door for the next part of the surprise. And that was the bookstore. This was so thoughtful and sweet of Matt. We walked the aisles listening to Christmas jazz and each picked out a book. Finally was the dinner plans. Yes, this day did involve a lot of eating, but that's one of my favorite things. Of course, we went to Cheesecake Factory where we had the kindest server. My first birthday as a mom definitely looked different, but it was very special. 23 is going to be hard to top, but 24 is off to a great start. We took our baby on his first ever ride at Disney World. Our day started off very rough because Griffin has stopped sleeping through the night and Abby and I collectively got maybe eight hours of sleep, but we had to rally today because it was our first time taking our son to Disney World. We arrived at Epcot with Abby's whole family and Griffin was the star of the show. While he's been fighting sleep like a madman at night, he's been the chillest baby of all during the day. That was until we tried to put mouse ears on him and he did not like that. Okay, not like them. <laughs> We tried food and drinks from all over the world. We paused to take family Christmas card photos in front of the tree for Abby's mom and met up with our friend Lindsay, who was the first photographer ever to work with us when we started social media two years ago. Some very sweet workers that watch our videos serenaded us and gave us some free cookies, which was super nice. You guys are crazy for that. You guys crush that. And then it was time for the moment I had looked forward to all day. Griffin's first roller coaster. Okay, hey, actually, it's really just a ride that goes three miles per hour, but it was pretty cool. We followed Remy from Ratatouille all around Paris and even smelled the scent of fresh bread as we passed through the kitchen. And just as we thought that our day was going to end on a positive note, uh, we don't know where our car's parked. We spent a whole 30 minutes just looking for our car. 
We tend to cut it close on travel days. So close that last week we almost didn't get our luggage on the flight. Shout out to the gate agent though. She watches our videos and really saved her butts. After spending a week with family in St. Louis, we packed up our bags and headed off to our next destination. And we said goodbye to my mom as she dropped us off at the airport. Now, I am not a morning person by any means, so it really sucked getting up at 7 o'clock this morning for this flight, but we did get to fly on a budget airline, so yay for saving money. It was a little frustrating that we were assigned separate seats on the plane, but after some negotiations, with our fellow passengers, we found ourselves sitting next to one another in the 41st row next to a family with 10 children. Now, I may have accidentally left Griffin's travel bassinet on the plane, but we were able to recover it and made it to our destination safe and sound. Holy crap, that's literally a tear dropping down your face right now. I'm just staring at it fall down your They're cheek. Out of my eyes. Dude, and you're not even sad? No. Oh my gosh, that's a big tear. Honey, is your eye okay? What's wrong with it? Honey, it's literally shutting <laughs> closed. There's literally two tears falling out of that eyeball right now. Can you even see me? If you close your right eye, can you even see out of your left? Uh, oh no, not the best. <laughs> you promise you're not sad? Well, I mean, I'm not happy, but... You look really sad. I am sick. Would a back rub help? I'm just trying to think of what I can a do. A back rub always helps. I can do that. He's just doing this for the TikTok. Okay. He doesn't actually care about me. I rub your back all the time. <laughs> Don't even play games right now. <laughs>